So let's get in, Rocky. Let's bring him in here. And morning, Coach. I'm going to do this for you too, Joe. I already. I'm going to tell him. Hey, Coach. Good morning. We all say good morning to you. Good morning. How's everyone? All right, hey, Coach. Uh, you all right with 16th? <laughs> that's what I got. That that's what I've been pimping you guys at 16th. You all right with that? Uh, I'm okay with all of it because the only way you stay in there is to start in there. In our in our level, if you don't start in there, you're never going to stay in there. You're not going to come in and bust in, so it's good to start in there. Okay, so the, the FWA just sent me. I pimped out some of your boys here, too. Uh, let's see on the Nagurski list here. And I'm going to tell you why this is this is relevant, and this is why this used to be relevant to us um, at UM. Anytime you start seeing your guys showing up in some of these preseason things, to me, this is more of a testament of your program and where your program is coming. Do you got a guy on? I thought you had a guy on this. Uh, Probably Calvin Munson. That's it. He is. He's mm-hmm. on this list here. And then also, too, for the Outland, your boy, uh, Saragusa. He's on the list. Yeah, as he should be. Yeah. he's So, again, the point is, though, Coach, is that preseason-wise, your guys are visible. That's a good sign on growth for your program, though. Yeah, I, I think that uh, we've got to the point that uh, we're not going to surprise anybody and that we're going to be the hunted instead of the hunter uh, from here on out. But that's that's what you want to be. That's what the, the position you want to be in. Here, here, You know, I had Coach Johnson on with me yesterday, and I'll tell you what he used to do to us. Every single preseason and every time we got ready for training camp, we went through these like psychological skill set things, Coach, where we always expected he would take us through the game and we would practice game tempo every single thing we did, no matter if it was running to the gym, no matter if it was running to training hall. We did everything game tempo. I asked the coach this one time. I go, why? He goes, if you act like a champion all the time and you play like a champion, you'll think like it, then you're expecting to win. Do our guys expect to win every time they take the field? I think we're to the point that, yeah, we every time we take go out there, we expect to win, and I think they – have a sim- similar same mentality. I mean, I think everything we do in the weight room, everything we do in practice is that game tempo. We don't expect it any other way. And, and the older guys teach the younger guys, which makes it nice for a coach. It's in gr- inbred in the program now so that you don't have to coach it as much because it kind of trickles down from the seniors to everybody else. Coach, what's the biggest concern as you get ready for training camp? Uh, biggest concern is we need a little depth in the offensive line. We need a little depth at the uh, linebacker spot, and uh, our quarterback has to continue to play as good as he did at the end of the season. What's the biggest strength we have going into training camp? I, I think our secondary is the best that we have, and the running backs are the next best as far as talent goes and skilled guys that uh, have some experience, and we expect to play very, very well, but obviously – they don't play very good if the guys up front don't play very good. And I think in the D line, we're probably pretty good shape uh, depth wise and all that. In the offensive line, we have some what we think are good starters, but after that, it's guys that are unproven. Coach, do you have enough? How about here? Let me ask you this. Do you, do you think you have enough uh, in the front seven? Is this the best front seven that you've had since you've been there? They had the best uh, front three D linemen. Uh, the linebackers, uh, you know, we mentioned Calvin Munson. We got a guy named Randy Ricks. We know those two can play because they played good last year. After that, we we need one more linebacker that can prove that he can play at that kind of level. But uh, as long as we don't get the good guys hurt, we're going to be a pretty good football team. No, no knuckleheads this year in that old line like we had a year ago, right? <laughs> no, so far not. I wish you wouldn't have brought it up. You know, I'm kind of one of those superstitious guys. You bring it up, and then something might happen. Oh, Rocky Long here on San Diego Sports Leader. The mighty ten ninety. Those first that first game obviously is everything to you guys. It's it's the game. It's it's only four quarter. It's four quarters of football. Sixty minutes of football. Again, that, is that the mentality, coach? As you get ready for camp too, you got four quarters to worry about, and that's it. Uh, that's all we worry about. In fact, uh, you know, during spring practice, we talk to the team about doing things like we always done them. I mean, just because people are recognizing them doesn't mean we're going to change how we do things. We're going to play the same way. We're going to practice the same way. We're going to have the same attitude when we go out there. And as long as we do that, we're going to be okay. Coach, I got some movies for you. Ready? Okay. Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> uh, I actually have seen that. <laughs> I'm not no, sure. No, no, no. Sure. Okay. I want you to show your team these. This is oh, what Jimmy. You do. Yeah, this is what Jimmy used to do. We used to, we always had to go and watch somebody's head get knocked off. I don't know what it was with him, but we always had to go see like horror movies before, like the game. And I would ask him after I go, "Why are we seeing like guys' heads getting chopped off and stuff?" He goes, 
well, <laughs> he goes, uh, we, 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 we want to have that mentality on Sunday. I'm like, yeah, but coach, I mean, these guys are sticking people with knives. He goes, I want you to have that mentality, but I don't want you to do that. And I'm like, well, there's a fine line with that, coach. And how do you coach that, coach? I mean, you you want you want these guys ready for the regular season. You want these guys motivated. How do you keep that fine line from not looking back on a year ago? Well, we don't use the chainsaw massacre movie. I promise you that. But uh, uh, we mostly do it in the weight room and how we work out in the weight room, how we work out in the off season. We mostly do it there. Now we do use movies at times, and most of the time because. I think it's a uh, pride in America type of thing. We we watch war movies quite a bit, which are I love that. Patton. Which kind of give you the discipline and the want to and why to, which for everybody else it's not for you. And we try to develop that mentality. Oh, you see, you, you, hey, I could just see it now. This is how I would say I go. I would get in a huddle, coach, and I'd go. I want to reach my hand into Northern Alabama skull and pull the goo out like I just saw that German guy having his head blown off. That's how I, I, I'd get in the huddle and I'd say something like that. I'm going to peel someone's skin off. See, yeah. you, get, you you sound like a D-lineman talking like that. <laughs> what, not smart? <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. You did. <laughs> Rocky Long here on San Diego Sports Leader. The mighty 1090. Coach, again, no, Pumphrey is your guy. Um, how far can he go this year? Boy, I think he's going to be at least in the three conversations, and I mean that with the three teams for All-American this year. If this kid has any kind of year that he's had in his years previous, uh, he's got to be one of those guys at the end of the day, no? I, I think he's got the talent to want to and will play really, really well, but here we get we're back to how well the offensive line plays. If the offensive line plays well, he's going to have a great year, and and I heard what you guys were talking about earlier, and I and I I agree totally. The West Coast teams, the West Coast players, they're at a disadvantage, uh, and I think it's all a time reference. You know, by the time it gets to ten o'clock, and we're playing a lot of games uh, late at night, nobody back east is watching, so they don't know how good those guys are. That's right, and, and, and coach, you know what? I'm taking a shot at Larry Scott, but you could take a shot at really any of the conferences out here. I think the ego has said that, hey, we're great football too. Well, really, I agree 100%, but having lived on the East Coast, Coach, I got here, there is as good a teams and as good a coaches as anybody, but when you're playing at 7 o'clock at night on the West Coast, no one's up on the East. I mean, there's got to be some changes. Have you guys gone over that with the Mountain West, like getting earlier games so more exposure can be seen? We, we as coaches, we talk to them about it all the time, but we're at a disadvantage because TV's running the show, and, and everybody's uh, wanting the TV revenue to help uh, the resources in your program. So TV is still calling the shots, and, and as long as TV wants us to play late at night in our conference, we're going to have to because we need the money. Wait a minute now. So if you're telling me that then, as a player then, that means TV also dictates the polls. I think it has uh, something to do with it, sure. So if my helmet has a Notre Dame sticker on it, which they don't, but if my no, my helmet has Notre Dame gold on it, or if my helmet uh, has Michigan uh, Wolverine signs on it, I'm going to get more of the benefit of the doubt because the television networks want the brand on TV versus the team that deserves it? I think, I think the brand has a lot to do with who gets those awards. I, I think if you have the... The right brand as far as what the normal population of the United States sees, you have a much better chance than maybe the brand that others don't. And and if you're seen on TV, the more you're seen on TV, TV by the more people, the better chance you have to get any of those kind of awards. Hey, finally on Pomfrey, could you compare him to Jones Drew at all? Uh, yeah, I think so. I, I think he's a little quicker and, and catches the ball a little bit better, but very similar. Is he a blocker like Jones Drew? Jones Drew blew up Merriman that time. I mean, I, I thought he lit a grenade under him. I mean, he just killed that guy. I mean, and you, I, you were around him, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know who he is. Yeah, sure. I, no, I know you were around yeah. him too. I mean, I, does he does he remind you of that guy at all? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, there, uh, Pumphrey's a little bit smaller and a little bit quicker, and and does more things with the football in his hand, but he's not as powerful. Even though he runs, he runs with a lot of power, only weighing 170 pounds, he's not quite as powerful. All right, this is what I have you tabbed in, 14-0. and 0. Do you really? Yeah, oh, no, you're, you're 14. I know I wanted you fired last year. I apologize. I told you that already. I'm not going <laughs> to – I'm not going to – I'm not – I almost dropped the F. I'm not going to tell you again that I'm sorry, okay? I'm, you don't have to. All right, but I'm saying this now. I know. You talk about waffling. I'm going 14-0 and 0 with you this year. Anything less than that. We're going to put the Miami uh, thing on you here. Anything less than that, it's not a good year. 
we're going 13-1, and we're going to win a title, and then we're going to go in one of these New Year's Day bowl games. Is that what you have on the chalkboard? Uh, the New Year's Bowl day is, is one of our goals, sure. Okay. I'm counting on this because I want the pass to go with you, and I don't. I, I hope it's in. Long as it's not in Tempe, I'm not going back to Tempe. I've never won a game in Tempe, and I'm not going to Tempe. I can't go to te- coach. I've lost two games in Tempe. I well, can't we'd have to, we'd have to go without you then. Well, may, I'll go anyway then. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. coach. When was, when does camp start? August the 6th, they show up the 5th, and then we start practice the 6th. I can't wait. I'm getting out there, too. I want to come out there and watch you guys practice. I think this is going to be a great year for the Aztecs. Very high on you guys, man. I think you guys are going to have a spectacular year, all, again, on injuries, making sure that that don't happen to the team. But we're going to be good. Coach, thanks a lot, man. Go get them. Appreciate it, Dan. Thanks.